Let's now style our main content area a little more. When Nux brings in the markdown, it'll parse it and then add HTML tags where needed. And so we could actually right click on one of these guys, let's say header two, and then inspect element. And here we can see that they've added in IDs to it and also a class nux content editor nux content so you could go into your css and then dive deep into the css to style the headers and the list items and all of those things but i'm going to recommend a different approach and i'm going to recommend is to pull in tailwind typography so let's go ahead and go back to our code and then do that and let's go into our directory structure here and i'm going to clap some of those and what I'm looking for is the package.json file. All right, let's modify this. And what we'll do is break on a different line and then let's bring in Tailwind CSS typography. So at Tailwind CSS and then forward slash typography. Ah, look at that, it's right there for us. And let's see, what version do we put in here? Let's actually select 0.2.0. .0. Okay, well, let's open up our terminal and we'll stop this process. And then we'll type in yarn install in our terminal. And then that's going to install that new typography module. Okay, so it's installed. Let's go back and run yarn dev. And then once this is complete, we'll go back to the underscore doc.view file right here. And then what we'll do is add a class. And then the class that we want to use for typography is called pros, so P-R-O-S-E. So one more thing, we have Tailwind CSS typography in our package.json. We also need to see if we have our Tailwind config file. Okay, it looks like we don't have our Tailwind config file. Let's go ahead and create that. I'm gonna create a new file on the root directory and it's gonna be, and we'll title that Tailwind Dot config dot js. Okay, so we have tailwind.config.js. And then with that, I have some JSON that I'll paste in. So these are the configs that you could use to modify the Tailwind plugin. And at the very bottom, we're going to add another plugin right here, which is require the Tailwind CSS typography. And then I've also added this information right here. If you ever add in a code block where it's backtick, 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 so three backticks in a row and then add your code in between, Tailwind typography handles that pretty well. But if you just do a code snippet where it's one backtick and then the code in between, uh, it actually displays that backtick, which I'm not a big fan of. So this code right here will remove that backtick. Okay, let's save that out. And then what we'll do is watch this rebuild. And when this is done rebuilding, let's go back and take a look at our browser to see if it's formatted correctly. All right, looks like that's done. So now we can see that it's styled a whole lot better. Uh, take a look here at the header two and header three, and then Google as a link. And then we have our ordered list and our unordered list, as well as our image in the middle there. Okay, perfect. So obviously I don't want this to hug the very top. So let's add a little bit of padding and then move this down. And let's add a little bit of styling to this next component right here. So I'm gonna add class to it and then equals, and let's put some margin on the top of about 24. And we'll see what this looks like. Okay, cool. Now that we have the margin on the top, uh, it's pushed away from the top of the browser window and that looks a lot better. But one last thing, so I have our header two here, but I actually wanna put our header one, which is gonna be our page title right above that. And look, since I put this in more of a mobile view, it looks like it's missing padding on the left and the right. So let's add some padding real quick as well. Maybe padding six, let's try that. We'll save it out. And that looks uh, pretty good. So let's keep that. All right, now we'll add the header one. And we're gonna add that within the doc.view. Let's close out these other tabs here and then go into doc.view. And then we're going to add that header right above Nux content. So I'm going to add h1. And then I'm sure I'll probably be adding some class in there. So I'll just put that in there right now. And then within the h1, we're going to call doc and then get the title from the metadata. So do the curly brackets, 
doc.title. So if you remember when we did the markdown, we added some page metadata at the very top and one was called title. So that's gonna pull in the title from the document. And I'm thinking for classes, let's make this uh, text a little larger. So let's do text 3XL and then maybe make the font semi-bold with the text color. Let's make it gray 900. And we'll add a little bit of padding on the bottom. And let's, and let's say that out and see what we get. And well, it looks like it's not picking up the title metadata. Let's see if we can figure out why. I think it might just be Safari. Sometimes Safari doesn't really jive too well with uh, coding <laughs> for some reason. So let's X that out and then add a new Safari window. Okay, and here's our doc title.